Some of you have asked how to save the job when things go wrong. And as painters, we all know, this is something you normally see just as you're ready to apply the clear coat. You will, of course, have seen that this is not a real car. And so I've deliberately been able to create a bad blend here on the door. And I have some dirt here in the bonnet that I need to fix. And this is where I'm going to start. Now, I need to sand first to get rid of the defect. And I'm using a P1000 grade or finer abrasive just to remove the dust. And there you'll see it's done. Now I need to reapply the base coat. Now, one or two important things to remember here. Firstly, shorten your distance to the object so that you're not creating lots of overspray and transfer of dust any further than is necessary. And spray in a light kind of droplet coat so that you're creating just a nice uniform surface, not making it too wet. You can always blow it dry in between coats, just to speed yourself up a little bit. It's always worthwhile just using the tack rag in between coats, just to reduce the amount of overspray. And just approaching it very gently, not making it too wet. In fact, it's better to apply it in three to four lighter coats rather than trying to do it in two wetter ones. Speed is not critical here. And again, just wipe around the edge of the repair with the tack rag. And I think probably one more here should do me. Just dry that now, take a final look. I think we're going to be okay with that. Looks good. That was quite an easy fix using ready for use material. And as you can see, done, no problems at all. Let's now take a look at the bad blend that I've created on the door here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my color one to one with blender to reduce the hiding a little bit. Now this will help me disguise this bad blend area and create a smoother transition into the original base coat. I'm going to spray it at about one bar inlet pressure with a light coat, which I can then flash off quite quickly, check if it's okay, I can move on. If not, I'll repeat that same exercise one more time, going a little bit further. And the first thing I need to do is tack rag the surface just to remove any dust that might have formed on the, uh, on the panel. And now what I'm going to do, is spray one light even coat beyond where I finished the blend originally. And what I'm looking for is that very fine and uniform and consistent film, just to keep it nice and even. And you'll see it's looking like almost little droplets, but when they dry, that will provide me with a very smooth film. So, let's flash that now, quickly, and we'll take a look, see what we've managed to achieve to do. And that's flashing off okay. I'm just finished drying these last few bits. Let's have a look. Well, I can see an improvement generally, but there's still one area that I'm not quite happy with lower down here. So, tack rag again, and just repeat the process. Again, nice and uniform, even and consistent. Extend it a little bit further on the wing as well, just so I don't make a build up and create another problem. And I think we should be okay with that. Let's see. Now let's take a look. Yep, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think I've uh, saved the job, got myself out of a hole. You will have noticed that I just extended it a little bit more into the fender just to stop getting a band or another halo here. 
but again that's looking okay also nothing too visible out there yep I think we're ready for clear coat let me just tack rag this off quickly then before I start to apply the clear and of course in fixing these little defects I will have created a little bit more overspray and coarseness on the surface than I normally would have done let's just see what there is on the tack rag yep so you see just a little bit of overspray it's unusually but it's enough just to wipe it off and get rid of it okay so one little tip for you what I like to do now where I've had to take this extra work and fix those little problems on the problem area I'm just going to apply a slight sort of half coat if you like just to give me a little bit of extra clear coat film build to avoid any problem with dieback so if you want to watch I'll go ahead and get the clear coat on there we are so just a thin sort of half coat just to help me with a little bit more film build and now I can begin to clear coat for real and on this coat all I'm looking to do is apply a nice even closed coat no open surface no texture and I'm not looking to go for the full finish just yet I'll get that in my second coat this is just really a nice coat and will allow you to apply the full coat after a short flash be a little bit careful here as I stretch over uh, you see you see with this clear is that it wets very nicely not a lot of effort needed to close the film makes painting quite uh, quite easy to do well, what I'll do now I'll give that a very short flash of three to five minutes and then I'll come back with the finished coat here we go then with the finished coat or the second coat of the clear now this product you may or may not know it but with this one I can afford to be a little bit braver in the second coat it's got great vertical stability so I'm able to spray to the finish that I want straight off of the gun just come around now and finish the front and actually in doing that I can see already that that fix that I carried out on the front for the dirt here that's really good I'm quite pleased with that let's pick up my wet edge now and work back out towards myself and actually from clear coat spraying this is a really nice product to use it gives you a good impression of how the finish that you're going to get directly from the gun that allows you to spray to where you want and again just looking towards what I did on the door my impressions are here in the cabin that I've managed to save the job successfully I know that once this is baked Hopefully if we can get the car outside it's going to look okay in daylight. There we go, that's the job done and finished. I'll let this now flash off for five minutes and then I'll bake it for 15 minutes at 60 degrees C before, as I say, hopefully taking it outside for a final look. This is what I really wanted to check outside here in the, uh, the light, such as it is. And unfortunately we don't have much available but it is uh, November after all but from what I can see the blend is great if this was a real car I'd have no problems giving this back to the customer at all and if I look at this one over here where I fix the dirt that's also fine just remember though it is always better to fix things in the wet condition if at all possible doing it this way creates a little bit more of a challenge and takes you a little bit more time thanks see you soon